All right, we are here with uh, Jens Gullen, the new signing for PokerStrategy.com, a uh, new video producer and, uh, and a coach. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel good about it. I'm looking forward to making some videos. All right, uh, you are probably still a little bit unknown to our English and uh, other communities. Uh, you are also known as Ingenious89 on Full Tilt, am I correct? Yes. And you've been playing uh, high stakes PLO there. Yeah, yeah, I mostly play PLO nowadays, and and all the usually all the highest stakes if there is any reasonable games games there. All right, tell us a little bit about uh, how you started your poker here, poker career. When did uh, you start playing? Mm, I started with friends like at like 17 years old, I think, and uh, and just read some books and and slowly started. And, and like in a year I already played pretty high, like 5-10, no limit hold them, 10-20. And just um, pretty quickly, it's always been a pretty quick move upwards. And, and so uh, like three years or two and a half years ago I switched over to PLO, which was very successful. I, I switched over at the right time, the games were still very good. and and. Now I've managed to be very successful there, so it's worked out. You started from uh, micro limit still. Yeah, actually, I started. I I won a free roll, or I was. I think I cashed in a free roll, and from that, from that I started just grinding, grinding my way up. I, ne I never deposited anything or, or like that. Yeah. So did you have a like a strict bankroll management in the in the beginning? Or? Yeah, yeah. I I tried to something like 20-30 buy-ins or something like that and and just take, keep taking shots up upwards and trying to run good but yeah yeah I made sure that I won't go broke all right now, now you're gonna start uh, producing some uh, PLO videos what do you think uh, are the more most important uh, um, most important topics in, in PLO in general like yeah well well, first of all, I, uh, many people think it's just gambling, which I'm going to try to show that it's not, that there's actually some, some strategy in it. And I think it all starts out with solid, uh, good pre-flop play, in fact. Like, you, you, can get a, you can win with a lot of different pre-flop styles, but, but it's a lot easier if you get to the flop with, with like, the right... right sort of hands in three bed pots and in normal pots and, and so on and, and not play too much without position there. It's, I think position is even more important in pot limit Omaha. Uh, who do you think are the toughest opponents in, uh, in the high stakes you have played against? Uh, what do you mean? He heads up or, or ring games? Oh, in general. In general. Um, uh, well, I guess it it would have to be probably like the top players that everyone knows already. But I think someone someone that isn't as known. You're not in danger too. I I played him quite a lot, and I think he's like really tough. One of the probably one of the best, even better than than the really like good like the known guys. And uh, yeah, I guess. Phil Galfond, you know, Phil Ivey, Patrick Antonius, yeah, Sigmund when, when he's playing good, that is really tough. Uh, and yeah, you're you're not you're in danger is also all these guys. Yeah. You you had a pretty good April, you, you made like over one million US, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, I I ran really good and uh, and played pretty good also and and it, it just all all the pieces fell together. Like I had a really good 300-600 anti session with Esvedra and a few other guys. And you were quite happy, actually, about Black Friday then. Yeah, like it took quite a long time. Actually, well, it was a little bit of a double-edged sword. I, it took a real long time. I just got my money out of Fultit, like, like. 
two weeks ago or something. So, so at first it looked like like it would have it was going to be an even bigger beat because I already had quite a lot of money in the, at those sites when it happened. So I was a little bit worried, but then I managed to win so much more. But in the end, it seemed like it was a really good thing because that it was the important session where I won one million. It, it was a lot. A lot of it was probably because a lot of the U.S. the best players couldn't get to the table, so it was three-handed and uh, even some heads up with this one guy, and and it just was so much softer than it would have been normally. Alright, what about the future plans? You're going to Vegas for World Series? Yeah, yeah, I'm going for that. The 24th, there's 10k Bottling Omaha uh, tournament. I'm gonna go to play that and then stay till the main event. Alright, um, I guess th at this point we thank you for the interview and wish you the best at the World Series. Thank you.